So we're going to make a quick uh, stop with a concept called uh, another version of dimensional analysis. Um, converting dimensions, um, that's you, you're converting dimensions. Uh, dimensional analysis kind of looks at the dimensions of the units within a particular um, mathematical expression or formula. Uh, basically, you want to make sure that the formula works correctly and that the units work out within the formula. So, for instance, I have d equals b times t plus one half a t squared. This is a version of one of the formulas you're going to learn later, although we make it a, a little more sophisticated. Um, you're going to be asked, well, does the equation make sense dimensionally? Do the units work? You would have to know what the units are for this particular for these particular variables. So for now, I'll probably list those variables with their appropriate units. Now, personally, I list units in brackets um, to show you that I'm representing units. Now, other places might do it a little differently. So this says that any distance is going to be measured in meters. Any velocity is going to be measured in meters per second. Time is measured in seconds. And accelerations in meters per second squared. What you can do is analyze the formula by looking at just the units and seeing if it works. So distance is measured in meters. So I'm going to basically kind of substitute the, the distance with, with the unit that it goes with. Velocity has meters per second. Time is seconds. And since they're multiplied together in the equation, they would the units would be multiplied also. Plus. Any numbers, since they don't really carry units themselves, they can be ignored. But the acceleration does have a unit, meters per second squared. And we're going to take time, seconds, but we are going to square that. That square must happen. That's important. What happens, as you can see, is meters equals. This seconds on the bottom. This seconds is on the top of a fraction. Remember, anything by itself could be a fraction if you throw it over 1. So a top of a, a fraction, a bottom of a fraction, they're going to cancel out. Those, S's, those seconds cancel. And you're left with just meters. Plus. Here we have meters over seconds squared. Here we have seconds, but it is also going to be squared. That seconds is going to be squared by the by the by the, uh, the power there. And essentially, what happens is this second squared is going to cancel out because this again is over one. If it's not a fraction, you can make it into a fraction by putting it over a one. Um, and so this seconds, if it becomes square, bring that square in there, that cancels out. And you're also left with meters. Now again, we're only worried about the units. And in addition, we can add like units or like variables. This checks out. That would check out. If for whatever reason we had meters equals meters plus seconds, then we couldn't add them together. This would not work out. Um, so we have to be careful there. Um, or if for whatever reason we had meters times meters for whatever reason, if the problem were changed, this would end up being meters times, that would be meters squared. And meters would not equal meters squared, then it would, would not work out. But luckily for us, in this particular example, it did. I hope that made sense. If you have questions, uh, feel free to reach out.